Hello everybody and welcome to Helen. That I is like throwing me off. It might be Highland. Highland is an Irish name. I don't know. Helen, a trip to Bavaria. Bavaria. Okay, so it's a click mouse to advance the story. When a choice appears, click a button. The game has three different endings, so I guess I'll be playing through this three times at the very least, depending on uh, how long it takes. Hailing. I wonder where Mag Magdalene went. She was here just a few minutes ago. What the fuck? Look, look how weird this looks. Oh, my phone vibrated. But now I can't find her anywhere. This is this is weird with this freaking side thing. Ah, here she is. I've got a surprise for you. Oh, what is it? A beautiful flower for my new friend. How nice. She hands me a wonderful alpine flower that she must have picked somewhere nearby. Wait, so am I? I'm this girl? Okay. Oh, thank you so much, Madeline. Why did you do that? Th that was a rare flower. Um, let's just thank her. Instinctively, I run to Madeline and embrace her tightly. She says nothing, but I can feel her emotions. I'm so happy to have met you, H Helen. I'll just call her Helen. Nobody ever comes to this small Bavarian village. Bavarian. Yes, my Uncle Otto had a good idea for once. Oh, look. He's coming our way. Otto doesn't like Madeline. He sees her only as an ignorant farmer. A useless friend I made on this short trip. Girls, what are you doing there? Oh, look at that fool's mustache. And his outfit. What the fuck? I guess this is olden times. Otto, my uncle. He's a prominent English merchant. Born in Parasia. He's been a traveler throughout his entire life. Today is my birthday. My 16th birthday. And he's decided to bring me here. To Bavaria. Bavaria. We have a visitor. Oh no, please! Don't tell me what you were referring to. To that woman? Please, Helen. Show a bit more respect for my friend. I'll, call, I'll make him British. <laughs> yeah, sure. She's British too, but in a girl way. She's only your friend. Nothing more. Insolent girl. You should show more respect. Don't forget that I am the man who has taken care of you since you were lost with your parents. Or, since you lost your parents. Several years have passed, but every time I think about it, I start crying. I can't do anything about it. Stop crying. Laura is coming. <laughs> no, I want her to see me. See, you made me cry. I said stop. You can't always do that what you want. Can't always do what you want. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's say. Let's say. Okay, I'll stop crying, but I don't want to talk with her. Let's say that. Damn, it's too late. She's already here. Hello, darlings. It's a pleasure to see you again, Helen. You get more beautiful every day. Oh, thank you, Laura. Are you having fun here? Yes. It's a wonderful place. It's a wonderful place. Yes, yes. A bit too cold for my taste, though. <laughs> What's with her voice, my god? Well, of course you feel cold. If you're going around half naked. <laughs> Laugh. Ah, 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 ah. Ha, <laughs> ha, Helen, you're so funny. Well, there's nothing I can do. I try every time I see her, but I can't make her make her angry. <laughs> uh, Otto, let's go inside. I need to talk to you, with you. Yes, I'm coming. You. Helen, try not to get into any trouble while we're away, okay? Of course, he's so eager to go inside to 
talk. Hugging Laura. See you later, sweetie. S see you. Why does she feel the need to have physical contact with everyone around her? Hey, Laura. She's so nasty to you. Let's make her a southern guy. Yes, but I still can't stand her. But why? She really loves you. I should be jealous of her. Oh, Madeline, stop. Please stop it. Okay, okay, relax. Why don't we go inside? It's starting to get cold. Yes, good idea. Also, I'm hungry. I want to try some local food. We head to the dining hall. There's a lot of tasteful food here. We sit down in the corner. I don't like being the center of attention. And the line, Laura and I, are the only women in the room. Ellen, look over here. Look over there. She gestures towards Laura. As always, her tales, as she likes to refer to them, captivate the audience. Well, I know that you hate her, but I think she's perfect partner for Otto. Really? And why do you think so? Otto is so shy and grumpy. Instead, she is extro uh, extroverted and kind. She is beautiful. Stop talking about her, especially that way. <laughs> okay, I won't talk about her anymore, promise. We currently eat some of the delicious food. Ah, I'm stuffed. Me too, but it was so good. I didn't notice, but we're almost alone in the hallway now, in the hall now. There are only a few servants cleaning the tables and nobody else. Is it true that you have to leave tomorrow? Yes, unfortunately, my uncle has to travel again. And where is he going? I don't know. I think he's going to the New World again this year. Wow, the New World. Damn, how I wish I could have, I could go with him. Uh, are we going to lie? Oh well, I have been there already. It's nothing special. Honestly, I would be terrified of making such a long voyage. Let's be honest. Really, I'd love to do it. I really envy you with an uncle like that. We could travel with him and discover a new world. As for me, I'm stuck here in my little world. In this beautiful but small village. <sighs> hey, don't cry. There's nothing wrong about that. I mean, it could be worse. Yeah, I guess you're right. I should stop whining. It's your last day here, too. Do you want to see my house? <laughs> Whoa. Yes, sure, let's go. We go inside. It's really a modest house, and there's an unpleasant smell around. Um... You... you're disgusted? Oh, no, no! Why do you say that? Don't lie to me. You have a strange look on your face. Well, to be honest, yes. It's a bit different from what I'm used to. Let's be nice. It's not a problem, really. I'll get used to it. <laughs> Thank you. I know it isn't easy for you. I've never had a noble like you for a friend before. Aha! Don't flatter me. I'm really a not noble. I'm really... I'm not really a noble anyway, I'm just... Just living and traveling with one of your most famous merchants in the whole of Liverpool. Right? Yes, well, I admit being with Otto's has some advantages, after all. We talk for a minute, for a few hours. A minute, a few hours, God. But inevitably, it begins to get late, and I have to leave for my room. You... you need to leave now, right? Yes. And tomorrow, I'll have to leave very early, at 5 a.m. That's not a problem. I'll be there tomorrow to give you my last hug. Great. I'm going now. See you then. 
I manage to get outside before she notices I'm crying. It's weird, really. The light of the moon lights up the surrounding valley. It's magnificent. It's very cold, but it's hard not to be enchanted by this unique spectacle. Here is a very different... Oh, wait, what? Here is so different from Liverpool, my home city. I'd like to stay out here to admire the moon and the stars forever, but I decide to go home to sleep. Tomorrow I'll have to wake up early. I'm sorry to be leaving this place. And Madge Madeline. I've only known her for a week. But she was special. No, she is special. And... <sighs> Helen, wake up. Don't be so abrupt with her. She's sleeping. Alright, okay. Okay, then. You wake her up. We have to go in less than two hours. Hey, darling. Come on, wake up, please. Laura, what happened? <laughs> oh my god, that voice is kind of annoying me. I'll just talk in my regular voice for Helen. We need to leave in about two hours. Come on, get up now. She's wearing the same shit. Laura, I don't want to leave. This place is so beautiful. Don't be silly, Helen. You don't want to live here, believe me. It's a beautiful place, but anyway, you're still too young to decide for yourself. Hurry up. We'll wait outside. I slowly start to get dressed, but I can't stop crying. I keep thinking about this place. After about 30 minutes, I go outside, but there's nobody waiting. Where are they? Ellen. Madeline, what happened? You seem worried. Your carriage is broken. One of the wheels is greatly damaged. What? A broken wheel? Yeah, they just found it. Found out about it. They just found out about it. She is shocked. Or maybe only excited because I... I can't leave then? I, 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 <laughs> I'm still doing the voice out of impulse. Laura and Otto went to Munich. A big town nearby. To look for a replacement. They don't tell me anything. Strange. Yeah. They were such a, they were in such a hurry. We can go back there too. It's only two hours away by foot. Um two hours, I'm not used to walking for so long. Okay, I wanna ask them but their plans are. Let's just say two hours? God damn, that's long. Ellen, move, we're late. Otto, suddenly, Mandeline runs away f to her house in tears. Did you... Did you hear me? Yes, yes. Don't be so impatient, I'm coming now. I enter the coach and start my journey back home. However, I can't stop thinking about what happened. Why did Mandeline lie to me? It was in a desperate last attempt to keep me here? And what were her real feelings for me? What? As I was leaving, my mind was filled with questions, which will probably never be answered. Those were my last thoughts of the early summer trip to Bavaria. What? What? Replay to see? Oh, okay. Well, I guess that's one ending. We just leave. Alright, guys, so... That's it for this episode. Uh, next time we'll try to do another ending. See you guys later.